okay? There you are. Thank you. Vince. Oh! I hope you'll be comfortable, huh? Oh, what a wonderful antique this place is. Yeah? Why, I bet it's at least a hundred years old. How did you ever find it? I built it. <laughs> uh, oh. Well, when you said private quarters, I wasn't expecting anything like this. Really? <laughs> oh. Are these airplane seats? Yes. <laughs> nice. Well, you know, people give me things for services in place of cash. I've got a propeller around here someplace. <laughs> Boy, this might even be too much room for just Joey and me. Gloria, were you expecting an entire house for yourself? I sure wasn't. Thank you, Dr. Adam. <laughs> oh, don't mention it. Boy, this sure beats living on a commune. You lived in a commune? No, my husband does. Oh. Well, he's not my husband anymore. Well, I mean, he is legally. The commune only takes couples, so he took one of his students, the homecoming queen, <laughs> a girl named Muffy. <laughs> She was right. It smells like cow duty out there. <laughs> Can we call Grandpa Archie to come and get us now? What? You just got here. Well, he promised he'd pick us up as soon as she screwed up here. <laughs> you haven't met my father, have you? Ah, uh, no, no. He said she wouldn't last the first day. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> we're gonna stay right here in our very own home. Look! With its own airplane seats. <laughs> Weird. <laughs> Mom, can I have a puppy then? Remember you promised I could have him when we got here. Remember that? You said at least I could get a puppy out of this deal. Please, huh? Okay, please, huh? Okay. Oh, well, you'll have to ask Dr. Adams if it's okay. Please, huh? Okay, please, huh? All right, away. Now, I'll give you a pick of any of the strays that I've collected. They're out in the kennel behind the barn. Oh, but, now listen. You've got to take very good care of them. Is that a deal? Wow! <laughs> you're neat! I don't even care if you're not a real doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Is that your father again? <laughs> well, I think I'm just going to get unpacked and change, and then I'll be ready for work. Good. Now, I'll tell you. The clinic, through that door. Okay. And the housekeeper's apartment, it's at the top of the stairs. A housekeeper? Uh, <laughs> Dr. Adams, thank you! <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't have a housekeeper now. I had one uh, about four years ago. It was a big woman. She walked in her sleep. She, uh, I called her Lady Macbeth. She was frightened. <laughs> <laughs> I had to let her go, and that was a good thing, because if I hadn't, there'd be no place for you to live. This is your house? Yes. Use the kitchen, the living room, just pretend I'm not here, huh? I is that all right? Because if it isn't, I, I do have a little cabin. Yeah, all it needs is a coat of paint and to two walls and the roof. <laughs> no, no, this'll be fine. Right. Anyway, the important thing is the job, right? Right, right. 100% correct. Excuse me. Once more into the breach, dear friends, once more. Close the wall up. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Lauren. Her skin will be just fine, Mrs. Sattler, if you just don't bathe her so often. Well, Susie hates to smell like an animal. Don't we all? <laughs> all righty, Mrs. Sattler, let's see what we have here. since they canceled Lou Grant. <laughs> Come on, Susie, let's go. Good girl, Susie. Walkie! Next. Oh. Hi. Oh, hello. You want to go see a monkey? <laughs> sure. Really? Oh, I'm Clark V. Uli, Jr. 
Gloria Bunker Stivick. Oh. I'm the new vet assistant. <sighs> You're the new what? Vet assistant. Is something wrong? I'm the old vet assistant. <laughs> so, I'm out. Fired. Dust in the wind, eh? Maggie did this to me, didn't she? <laughs> Who's Maggie? Oh, don't give me that dumb blonde routine. Laura, <laughs> you clear her out? Sure, what the heck? <laughs> I need the courtesy of two weeks' notice, do I, doctor? <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, don't give me that dumb brunette routine. <laughs> Boy, you women really take care of each other, don't you? You prance around in your high heels and your makeup trying to act like men. <laughs> Is he all right? <laughs> Who the hell are you? <laughs> Gloria Bunker Stivic. The new bimbo vet assistant. Right. Uh, impossible. Oh, no, see, Dr. Adams hired me. I'm Maggie Lawrence, his partner. Hello. He couldn't have hired a new veterinarian assistant without checking with me first. Oh. You see, he's retiring any day now, so why would he bring in someone new when I'm finally taking over? <laughs> Everybody, over. Willard, Willard, where the hell are you? I'm going on down to Yaskra's farm. We'll be gone for an hour. Has everyone met Gloria? <laughs> <laughs> he did too, I swear. Look. That's asinine. Lambs don't bite. It's the only thing I learned at Cornell. <laughs> Dr. Adams, may I speak with you? Come in, Gloria. Get out, Clark. <laughs> Okie dokie. Don't turn your back on the lamb. <laughs> Hold the head. I'm a little confused. It's the end that eats. <laughs> Dr. Adams, why didn't you tell me that you're retiring? Who told you that? Your partner. My partner? Maggie. <laughs> Oh, no. She just thinks she's my partner because I sold her half my practice. Yeah. I, and then I had to tell her I was retiring to get her to buy in. Oh. It's, it's not easy getting good people to work for peanuts. Oh. If I promise to a job, you've got a job. And you won't fire Clark, will you? No, couldn't do that. Good. His father pays me $400 a week to keep him here. Take a hike, honey. Huh? Not you. <laughs> I'll uh, just be going. Listen, you old buzzard. Where do you get off hiring a new veterinarian assistant when we don't have enough money to pay that rotten excuse for one we've got? You mean Clark? We pay Clark. Two fifty a week. <laughs> what about me then? I haven't been able to draw my salary for three weeks. I don't understand why we've never been busier. Oh, we're doing fine for the only veterinary service in the country to operate on the barter system. Mm -hmm. We have piles of junk all over this place, and we have no cash. Well, I keep telling you, go out there, pick out anything you want. <laughs> Do you know really what is out there? Well, I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. For starters, a ton of pink roofing tiles and three ceramic bird baths. <laughs> no bird shall go unbathed. <laughs> what do you want me to do? Do you want me to refuse to treat these poor, sick animals just because somebody won't pay a lousy fee? Is oh. It? No. Take it easy, partner. Now, this Gloria, she's not going to cost us very much. She's a woman, for crying out loud. <laughs> What? No, and I will train her and she'll take night courses and in two years we will have ourselves a full-fledged veterinarian assistant cheap. I thought that you were retiring any day now and turning this practice over to me. That was my plan, but now I've got to teach Gloria, don't I? Oh, you wouldn't. <laughs> Where are you going to get the money to buy out the other half of my practice? 
You haven't been paid in three weeks. Your credit's awful, lady. <laughs> Take it away. Take it. Come on, baby. God, I hate birds. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Miss Fonda. No nukes. No nukes. <laughs> Gloria, welcome to the wonderful world of veterinary medicine. Oh. I see it's going well. <laughs> oh, fine. Just fine. Is this one clean? Yep, it's so clean you could eat off of it. Heel, heel, heel. It's another dumb stray the doc took in. What are you talking about? That's no stray. That's Mrs. Lunsford's prize bouvier. <laughs> well, not anymore. She abandoned him, says he won't breed properly. Properly? Well, let me put it this way. Prince is a princess. He's gay? Whoa! <laughs> you know, they had a case like this on MASH one time, only it wasn't a dog. You see, Alan Alda was really upset. Clark, don't you put him in a cage. Okay. But Alan Alda wouldn't do that. <laughs> My, what a beautiful bouvier. I can't wait to start working with the animals. When you're finished here, there are about two dozen more of these in the barn. And I clean them? Twice a week. Oh. Is there a problem? Oh, no, no problem. I can clean up after animals. I was married to Michael for 12 years. I take it you don't like your job. Well, it's just that I thought that a vet assistant... That's a certified position. You need two years training. You have to pass a state test. So, this is the whole job. Look, Gloria, I had to do jobs like this to get where I am today. <laughs> if you don't like dirty work, why don't you try something else? Like what? I don't know. Maybe an astronaut. You're just as well qualified for that. No offense. None taken. <laughs> what are you in for? <laughs> I'd like to try something else now. Yeah, he'll buy that. <laughs> Operator, I'd like to make a long distance collect call to Mr. Archie Bunker in Queens. Bob! Bye. Joey, guess what? You're hungry. Now, honey, I didn't have a lot of time to do any shopping, so I'm afraid tonight it's just hot dogs and beans. No, guess again. You don't like it here. I'll give you one more chance. It's okay, honey, because I've been doing a lot of thinking about our new home, and I'm thinking that maybe I was a little hasty in the decision. I picked out a puppy. You did? He's gonna be mine forever and ever. Tell him old like you. <laughs> Joey, honey, sit down. We need to have a talk. Do you like living here? Sure. Honey. What would you think about moving back with your Grandpa Archie? Nah, he doesn't have any pets, except for the cockroaches. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, you said this was our home now. Well, sweetie, right now, your old mom's not sure where home really is. I See, I came here to be a vet... Don't get up. <laughs> and it don't mind me. <laughs> Uh, 
just pretend I'm not here. If we move again, can I take my puppy? <laughs> Joey, we'll talk about this later, okay? Why don't you go on up to your room? I don't have a room. Then go on up to our room. What's that smell? She's cooking dogs. Dogs? Oh. Hot dogs. Well, I hate the thought of ingesting anything I might have treated. <laughs> what else are we having tonight? Oh, I, I see. You're, you're expecting me to cook for you, too. Oh, no, no. I just thought... Maybe you'd like me to do the laundry, too. How much starch do you take in your shorts? Medium. No, well, all right. No starch. <laughs> Dr. Adams, I came here to work with the animals. Hmm. I thought I'd be doing something important. Maybe my father was right. Maybe I am a quitter. Yeah, wait. But... Hold that thought. <laughs> Hello, Adams. No, there's no one here by that name. Why would I lie? I don't know anyone by the name of Stibbick. That's me. I'll put her on. <laughs> this is some loudmouth who says he's your husband. Michael? <laughs> is that Michael? Do you know who you're married to? I haven't talked to him since he walked out on me 63 days ago. Well, here. I can't. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know long distance is expensive, but I can't force it. Can what do you want me to do, have her roughed up? <laughs> well, well, tell her. <clears throat> tell her. He says he misses you and he loves you. He does. And he wants you and Joy to join him in the great oneness of the commune. Does this great oneness include his girlfriend? Are you still shacked up? <laughs> he says we are all one in the great family of man. Hang up. No dice, Stibbick. <laughs> he says making it very hard for him to forgive you. Forgive me? He walked out? And he says that you cannot take care of yourself. Yeah, you cannot take care of Joey. And you cannot even earn a living. Is that so? Well, you can just tell him for me that I happen to have a job. Now, it may not be much, but I do it extremely well. She has a sensational job. She's cleaning up. <laughs> and I am working for a very nice older man. She is working for one of the top professionals in this country, sir. And I live in a fabulous house. She's living in a mansion <laughs> with a discreet but very virile gentleman. I just finished the rounds sh and everything. What did he say? Now look, honey. Sh 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 <laughs> well, he says you're exaggerating and that you're going to quit this job within a week. That just shows how well you know me, Michael Casimir Stivic. <laughs> For your information, I am not the type of person who quits. I am the type of person who gets fired. <laughs> <laughs> and when I do, there's plenty of other jobs out there that I won't be able to handle either. <laughs> Why, I might just become an astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Neil Armstrong. Hey, you gonna stay? No. No? I don't know. Nothing's turning out the way it was supposed to. Listen, let me make a suggestion. Why don't you knock off this crybaby stuff and stop feeling sorry for yourself? I mean, this, this job here is a pretty good deal for you, if you want it. Good deal? <laughs> well, I want to work with animals which you don't have to pick up after and clean up after. Why don't you try Disneyland? But now, that, listen, there is nothing worthwhile in this life that doesn't have a mess connected with it somewhere. You know that? And if you want the good, you've got to take this mess with you. 
You don't have to tell me that. I came here because I love animals. Well, I believe you, you know. That's why I asked you here. And beginning tomorrow, I'm going to start to teach you what you need to know to pass the examinations to become a veterinarian assistant. But that'll take two years, and in the meantime... Uh, Gloria, you know, I need you here. You know, I need all the help I can get to keep this place going. It may not seem much, but it's important to me. You need me? More important, these animals need you. Really? <laughs> what do you say? Well, then I guess, okay. But Dr. Adams, hmm? I don't do laundry. I don't wear shorts. Joey? Joey? Hi. Hello. Hi there, sport. Can we have a little talk, man to mom? Start packing, all right? No. I think we're going to stay here and try to make this our home. What do you say? Radical! <laughs> My puppy likes it here anyway. Can he live up here with us? You bet. Oh, boy, come here. Oh, uh, I just love when he says radical. Honey, <laughs> honey, this isn't a puppy. This is a very grown-up bouvier named Prince. Clark said he was so happy he should be named Princess. <laughs> Clark didn't mean happy. What Clark meant was... <laughs> happy. Well, I don't like the name Princess. I'm gonna call him Archie. <laughs> Can I call Grandpa Archie and tell him? You want to call your grandpa and tell him that you have a gay... Black dog! <laughs> 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 <laughs>